What's up YouTube, this is Druzel. I am just now getting my second GeForce GTX 1080 Founders Edition card. I'm just going straight with the vanilla NVIDIA versions. I was waiting for uh, like EVGA to put out the For the Wins or Classified Edition cards. I was looking at Gigabyte Extreme Edition cards, but they're never in stock anywhere. And like the Classified Edition won't be out until the end of like July perhaps. And then, you know, who knows if I'd be able to get one for a couple months because they'd all be sold out. And so, rather than continue to wait, I just went to Best Buy. Uh, I went there yesterday and got one card because it was the only one they had in stock. They had just come off the truck, and I went back today and got the other one that just came off the truck. So the local Best Buy is all sold out. Sorry, guys. If you were looking for one, you'll have to wait until they get more. They do have some 1070s, though. So, I got the first card to my system last night. And I'll see if I can come down here and show you that. See, there we go. There's the first one in place, my sound card and everything else in there. And we just got the second one home, and I'm going to take it out of the box here in a minute and throw it in there and try SLI. These are quite powerful cards. Uh, I would say that one of them is a bit more powerful than my previous 980 Ti Classified Edition cards, but it kind of depends on what you're doing. Like, so far it seems to me that these are better for the higher resolutions, which makes sense. They have more memory, and they have... Uh, the new GDDR5X as opposed to standard GDDR5 which from what I understand is like it's not as fast as high bandwidth memory but it's pretty close I think it's like about 80 to 85 percent of the speed of the HBM uh, of course NVIDIA is working on uh, HBM2 well like, like they're not working on it but it's supposed to be on their next uh, like the 1080 Ti's and the new whatever the new Titan will be for the Pascal cards I believe uh, they may call it Titan P or something. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this out here and I'll put it in the system and we'll get it booted up here in just a second. I'll be right back. Actually, I decided real quick to show you what the card looks like before I put it in the system. Uh, they're pretty generic looking blower fan. They've kind of reformed the plastic around it a little bit. Like before they were kind of just square edges and now they've kind of tried to make it look a little prettier. It's got uh, one... Dual link DVI I, or I'm sorry, DVI D port. Uh, we got three display port. I believe these are 1.4 ports, which can do up to like 8K at 60 hertz. Not that there's any 8K panels, but um, and actually, I think you might need both, like two of them to run that. They're either 1.4s or 1.3 A's, and then you got one HDMI 2.0 port, so you can do like I've got my 4K TV over here, which I can game on when I feel. The Urge. I don't think it's very coming in real good. Whatever. That's my Vizio P series. And anyhow, that's what they look like. Uh, the blower fans, like when when you're doing SLI, these are actually kind of preferable to ACX cooling because they just blow the heat out of the back of the case instead of trying to uh, like the if they're ACX, they blow down and then the heat just rises back up and you kind of end up with this sort of heat pancake of cards. So this is uh, overall a better you know, way to do it for, for dual cards. I'm probably going to put water cooling on these, like my closed loops that I had on my 980 Ti's. I may just transfer something like that over to one of these. But as you can see, like the card itself, if you get up close, like there's a back plate on these. In fact, hold on. Like you can see we have a nice back plate, but like the 980 Ti's that I have, uh, or I have one of them left, it has like a front plate as well, like covers everything including all your ram chips and so forth are covered with it and these i believe you know i can't really see perfectly well with it being covered but i don't think that there's you know any kind of plating through here so covering the ram with a like a closed loop water cooler i mean they come with a fan but you probably i'd probably have to buy like some small heat sink chips to put on it to to keep it from getting too hot because the ram on these cards uh, like runs at insanely high frequencies like over four gigahertz out of the box and so that seems like that would need its own heat sinks to me anyways uh, I'll be back in just a second I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera while I put this card in the system I'll be right back all right you can see we got both cards in there I've got my EVGA SLI Pro bridge on there that's actually a three-way bridge but it works fine for two-way and I think it looks nice nice and rigid makes everything kind of stay in one place together even without if I hadn't put screws in there it would it kind of holds them in place for you but uh, these cards use uh, from what I understand like I haven't tried this yet so if this doesn't work then I'll probably have to get a different SLI bridge but uh, supposedly all the rigid 
bridges like this one have enough bandwidth to support these cards because they're apparently sending a lot more data across the, the SLI uh, connectors than they used to and so they actually have like a high bandwidth version SLI bridge now like the flexible bridges don't cut it anymore you have to get something like one of these I've been on the EVGA website they're available on there for about 40 bucks they look just like this though so I kinda wonder if there was really any difference or if it's just like they're repackaging it and calling it something new but in the case of these this particular bridge uh, it should be sufficient to run these two cards in SLI. So I'm going to go ahead and power the system up here and see how she does, make sure SLI is working, and I'll try some benchmarks and so forth and see what kind of scores I can, can throw up there. But anyways, this has been Druzel. I appreciate you watching my channel. If you like this kind of content with tech and or video games, um, I'm going to go ahead and put up some more gaming footage videos soon now with these to see you know what kind of frame rates we can get. But uh, if you like this kind of content, please like and or subscribe to my channel. I don't monetize any of my videos or anything like that. It's all just for fun. So appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Bye.